Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Then the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. Sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. What's got he wasn't here? always this ah, way. Like but things. it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. Go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? 
I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. <laughs> oh, wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, it's... Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. He went around the corner. See why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Whoa! Say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell some. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even used to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. No. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Hey! 
You, Ashton, hold her right there! Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. Yeah. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey, what are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh, theater? Me? Sure, why not? Uh, It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. 
You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lynn. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. The greatest assembler of Let's entertainment see. since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a or not. Are you in a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire. Snakes and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome On a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss. Robin Koninsky! Perfect. Oh, 
I see you, you, you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanservino. Yeah. Stop it. Look at that. away from the curtain. Chanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home bring to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris.
Oh, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. Yeah! <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous, awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> uh. All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I want it, man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free and I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town and I can't go back to. There's another story. I'll write you. Arthur. Charles? You busy? No. Why? Fella sold me these plans. Oh, what do you gotta ask him for, Charles? Me? He's just gonna make a big drama out of it. You know he will. Drama out of what? <laughs> Only the easiest little bank score ever got taken. Well, I don't like robbing banks now. You like complaining and whining. We never robbed that bank in Rhodes. Arthur's good. He's the best man we got, and this is easy. But he complains a lot. <sighs> what is it? Turns out there's a big weakness in the building. They replaced a window to improve security, but the bricks are real weak. So? <laughs> the vault's right behind. The fellow sold me the plans, told me all about it. It's an open secret in town, due to be fixed any day, apparently. 
We got enough explosives? I don't think so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Come on. Well, just no wine in there, Arthur Morgan. Oh, shut up. I'll make you wine. Oh, give me this. It's been a while since I robbed a bank. I'm looking forward to this. You ever robbed a bank? Of course I have. And what about that one up near Canada with you and Bill a couple of years ago? You was the lookout, and not a very good one if I remember right. Can you believe this, Charles? I'm staying out of it. Try not to get us trapped in a burning barn this time, Uncle. And you try not to kill half the town over some imaginary gold. <laughs> he has a point there. There's the bank. Just there. Uh, I see it. Yeah. This way. Let's rest here till dark. <sighs> this is my kind of bank robbery. It's time. Let's go. All right. Wake up, beautiful. What, already? Yes, come on. All right. Let's see what's going on. That boy over there, he's a guard for sure. Well, I'll go deal with him. Silently, please. Of course. Good work, Arthur. Follow me. Grab that spool, Arthur. Unspool that wire to about 30 feet away. Sure. Thanks. This won't take long. Safe. 
look damaged. I reckon we should be able to pry them open. Let's see what we got in here. Check those other vaults. Yes, hurry up. We ain't got long. Mm -hmm. How'd we do? We did okay, I think. Here, and thank you, boys. That was fun. Now, don't forget to give the camp a share, Uncle. Oh, as if I would. As if. Now, split up, both of you. Let's get moving.
Hi there, Arthur. My lady. How many of those have you had? Not enough. Didn't Dutch tell you to take a look out? What I do and don't do ain't no concern of yours. Least I still give a damn about this gang. You don't give a damn about nothing but yourself. All right, there, Molly. You know Mike is running things now? Only thing Micah runs is his mouth. Dutch will see through both of you. I'll make sure of that. Gentlemen. You okay? Hello. You all right there? I think so. What an idiot. He just gets under my skin. Pearson. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Her I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No, she spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young T. 
Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said your last. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. What the hell? It's okay, mm. Miss Tilly. Mm. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them! Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard! Uh, the one in front of the ball! Bring them back alive, I ain't done with them yet! All right, get after them! You've got a couple more seconds to regret what you did! They're heading down the hill, to the water! We can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. Let's go for a ride. Let's move. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Watch you, pal. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be saying that soon enough. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. He's a coward. All right, all right, damn it. All right, 
Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Yeah! Now get out of here. bad enough with your kind in it. Get away from here. Okay, all right. I shall retreat. Damn you. I want you gone. I don't respond too well to rudeness, fella. I'll beat you senseless. I had your stuff unloaded. Thank you. I put you in one of the upstairs bedrooms. I thought that would be a little nicer for you. I mean, the place is a dump, but we can survive here. Yes, it's, uh, it's great if you love alligators and mosquitoes. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, it's left at the top of the stairs and head on to the end of the landing. Thank you. Mrs. Adler? Hello, Arthur. You know, when I was a little boy, Mind yourself, some men came Susan. to my village. They accused five men of spreading rebellion and heresy. They took them into the streets, stripped them naked, castrated them, and fed them to the pigs while the rest of the village was forced to watch. One of those men was my uncle. Another was a friend of my parents. 
And you know what those men had done? They had suggested that the men of the village demand a fair wage from the local landowner. That... Not, not that he... Not that he share all that he had, just that he give enough that the people might live. Of course, Mexico could be a land of plenty. But the people with the power there... They rather kill than share the smallest little piece. All my life, I think about this. Most people are thieves. Because they steal the lives and the hopes of others. Hi, Arthur. You think you'll ever go back to Mexico? For now, I can't. You think we're wanted here? I'll be shot on sight if I go back there. Maybe one day. Hey, fellas. Hey. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Hello. Sure, Arthur. There she is. Hi. You okay, Mary Beth? Yes. Glad you and Susan got to Tilly in town. good you in action with those foreman boys. Like the old days. Oh, I'm just glad we got Tilly back. Yep, just in time. <laughs>